Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and Netflix have finally released the trailer for the new tennis documentary coming out next year, just before the Australian Open. It's called Breakpoint, so it's actually got a name as well, which is nice to see. Part one's actually coming out at the start of next year. Let's go have a look at who's actually featured in the documentary and who's going to be a part of it. So here are the players that are actually going to be a part of the Breakpoint series and who Netflix followed around this season. We have Felix Ogieliassime, who actually had a really good season, a breakout season, so we get to see his journey along the way. They followed Perla Badosa, who unfortunately didn't have a great year, but still, be interesting to watch her journey. Matteo Berrettini, who had an injury plague season in the middle of the season, so that'd be interesting to see how he handles that. Taylor Fritz, who also had a breakout season like Ogieliassime. Ons Jabur, who's very entertaining and also had a very very big season two Grand Slam finals. Nick Kyrgios also going to be featured. I think he'll be the main man in this show. Uh, Tanasi Kokonakis also going to be a part of it, I guess, through his doubles matches with Nick Kyrgios. Kasper Ruud, very much like Ons Jabur, two Grand Slam finals. Interested to see how his journey is behind the scenes. Arena Sabalenka is also going to be a part of it. Maria Sakkari. Sloane Stevens, which is an interesting one because she's probably the lowest ranked player in the documentary series on the lady side, especially. Of course, Igish Fiontek. So good to see her in this documentary series after historic runs and winning two Grand Slams. Francis Tiafo, interested to see how his US Open is captured in this series. Isla Tomanovic, also a part of the series. And Stefano Tsitsipas, also in this series. So let's go to the other side of things and talk about who is not going to be featured. Some massive names. So Daniel Medvedev already said that he's not going to be a part of this documentary series, which is fair enough. Novak Djokovic's name is not there, which is interesting. I wonder if they're going to show much of his Grand Slam journey. Carlos Alcaraz also not on the list, which is interesting to see. I wonder if they're going to follow his US Open victory. And Rafa Nadal, he is not a part of this either, according to reports. So all the Grand Slam champions on the men's side are not going to be a part of this. Also, Ash Barty had a great start to the year, of course, retired, but she's not apparently not part of this either. Alina Rabakina, she isn't a part of this, the Wimbledon champion. Also, Caroline Garcia, she had such a great journey. So I hope she is featured in this at some point, but from what we're hearing, she's not going to be a part of it that much. And also Coco Goff is not on this list, which I think is a shame because it would have been great to see her journey going through the French Open, getting to the final as an 18 year old, making the top 10 and also doing really well in doubles. So some big names there are not going to be participating in this documentary series. So you have it, they are the players that are going to be a part of it. And it's called Breakpoint. It comes out on the 13th of January. So about three or four days before the Australian Open. So I guess to get people excited for the Australian Open. And it's part one. So I'm going to guess that they're going to do a part series over the next maybe 12 months. So maybe before every major event, they're going to bring out a new part. That'd be awesome if it was a six part series. But let me know down in the comments below. What do you think about this? Are you excited about this documentary series? Are you disappointed that we're not going to get some of the biggest names, some of the grand same champions of last year. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I, I'm not surprised though because uh, the, the Formula One version of this didn't have Lewis Hamilton in season one. And at the time, Lewis Hamilton was winning everything. So I'm not surprised we don't see Rafa and Nole. Uh, but I'm a little bit surprised we don't get someone like Goff or Alcaraz, one of the, some of the younger players, not getting involved in this or not being a part of this. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited about this Netflix documentary series?